Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode on Iron Horse Farm. I've been doing quite a bit of arable recently and I think it's probably about time now that we did some livestock work. So we don't have a great deal to do with the livestock because we don't have much money, but I would like to buy some. So first of all, I'm going to go into the store here and I think it's only fitting that we get some, well certainly some uh, sheep because they're not even expensive along with the chickens. So I think probably we'll go with uh, 10 sheep for now. Chickens are worth only £70 each, so we can have quite a lot of those. That's 25 chickens, and cows, well, they're actually really expensive, so uh, I think we can only really get... Well, I really shouldn't get any. Um, at the moment. I think I will leave off the cows for now. So sheep and chickens for now. Uh, but we do need to do some work to them that means. And first of all, well the chickens get on on their own so they're fine. They should be over here. But the sheep are going to need some feed and most likely some water as well. Where are they? Through here somewhere? Yes here they are. I can see the top of the chicken huts. There they are. How'd get in? Oh, there we go. So yeah, not bad that. Quite a lot of chickens and a cockerel. They should get on fine on their own. I don't think you have to feed them in this map. You do in uh, Cobra Park Farm, but I don't think you do in this one. So they should be absolutely fine. I love the uh, combine here. It's actually a New Holland, but the lizard from uh, FSO9, which has been dismantled. Love that. Um... So, now for the sheep. I need to remind myself where the sheep are. Let's have a look here. Uh, where are they? I can see the spinnery where you sell them, where you sell the, the wool. Ah, yes, I can see them. They're down near the, uh, the far south side, on the right-hand side of the screen. Uh, you can see where the lambs are there. We've also got the beef and the pig mods installed, so we probably should do those at some point. Um... But yeah, we should head over to the sheep, and we're going to have to find some feed for them. So let's just remind ourselves what we've actually got. We've got the two tractors with a front loader, the combine, two trailers, which we don't actually need. We only need one. So um, I think we'll sell this one. I could have got a bit more if I'd taken it to the store, but it wouldn't have been too much more. Uh, let's see. I think that is actually everything. Technically, I probably don't need the plow, so I could sell that, but not right now. Uh, so, we do need a forage wagon and a mower, but we probably won't be able to afford both. 8,300 for the mower, and the forage wagon is 27,000, so uh, it's not, not easy at all. That is going to be quite difficult to do. What I could do um, is, I could do bales but then I still need the mower. So, I'm in a tricky situation. This is a problem with playing on a hardcore mode. It is quite difficult to get on your feet, but I find that when you do get on your feet, you actually have so much money you don't know what to do with it. So, um, we'll head over to the sheep and see what they're doing. Now we still have quite a lot of barley fields which need to be harvested. The only issue is, it, they have massive fields and we only have a small combine. Obviously I'm going to have to do it because we have no other money to buy another combine. It would be nice though to be able to do them a little faster than what we are doing. So I think I'll probably have to put them on a worker. And we'll do the corn carting at some point. One thing I've also done is with my G27 is I have adjusted the actual turn degrees. So you have to turn it a lot more and you get a slighter movement in each turn. So that is more precise on the road. Doesn't mean I'm swerving about as much. So that should be much nicer to watch and also for me to actually drive the tractor as well. Uh, that's the same for ETS. So hopefully overall, it's gonna have a better experience for viewing and for playing. I've also noticed the Saytech steering wheel is now available on Amazon in the UK. So I'm definitely gonna be pre-ordering that. There's no way I'm gonna let that slip through the net. So the uh, lambs, are they in here or are they in the next one? 
are in there, I think. So yes, they need water, and they need feed, and uh, also root crops. But the root crops I don't think are essential, especially for sheep. Um, but yeah, ideally they do need them all, eventually. So in here, and loading point. These obviously the stalls, but I can't see the sheep. They must be out in the field. We'll do a loop. Yes, here they are. They're in the field grazing. And there is their trough, which we're going to have to fill up. Um, but we first of all, of course, need to get the mower. So um, I don't think I can actually do anything with them until we've done some more harvesting and we have got some more money because I'm obviously going to have to rent the loading wagon because there's no way I can afford it. But even to be able to rent it, we're going to have to sell something else. So back into the combine, I think. Now the field which I had in mind was a really strange shape. It is field number 41 and it really is huge. But it's going to have to be done. And once it is done, we need to be able to buy all the equipment which we need. So how do we get to it? Oh, fairly simple. Over the river up parts of the tomatoes and then up to 41 so it shouldn't be too difficult I will have to go up to uh, the other river crossing as usual though well there it is in front it doesn't have a wall around it though like a lot of the fields here I do still have to find the entrance to it though which could be anywhere. Coming up is the tomatoes on the right. I don't think we need those yet though. Although I could pop in. See what's happening. Here we are. I think I'll just pull in here. would be interested to see what is actually going on in this tomato place. Go and have a look. Tom's tomatoes. So this must be one massive greenhouse where I don't know how it works exactly but if it's anything like the other ones you'd think that you would bring the water and the, the manure in which looks like it yep so yeah it's just like a massive greenhouse just like the smaller ones so that could bring in some income we could do that but we first need to get the slurry uh, or the uh, actual manure as well so that is something which I'm looking to do in the future Back into the combine, we will begin work, I'm not going to, oh no I will actually, I will bail this one, we need to get as much money as we possibly can, it's just going to be a long winded job and uh, it might get a little bit repetitive if I do it for too long so I'll have to do quite a lot of it off screen, but once I've done a, a fair chunk of it I'll be able to put it onto a worker that way I can just do the corn carting and also do any other jobs as well. So eventually, uh, as we've got the inspector mod running, I can see what percent full it is. Um, when we've got the money, I'll be able to buy the loading wagon and the mower. I'll then be able to do the work for the sheep while this is still filling up. So we won't actually see the entire harvest, although it will all be done. something else which benefits this field is not having that wall around it so we shouldn't hit a collision or at least the worker shouldn't hit a collision when it's doing the work in the field which should make the entire process a lot easier and quicker 
and uh, that's the first time around. I think I'll have to go and track some trailer in a minute or two. I've also, there's a bit of a funny shape at the other end of it, over at the top end there, so I've sorted that out and it should make it much easier for a worker to negotiate all of that. But I might as well fill this thing up before I get the tractor. I think I'll probably go around three times. That way it gives them a big enough headland for any turning space for a worker. It's actually not a bad field to do. It's just a big curve at the top which might confuse it. But overall, I think it should be a fairly simple field for a worker. Fingers crossed. There. That is pretty much 100%. There we go. So we need, I think we'll probably use the New Holland, we'll put the bale trailer into the bale shed, or the sell point it is. There's also another bale there actually which I missed, that needs to be sold, but we'll do that when we go and buy something else. We don't need the front loader on so I may as well take that off. and we'll head up to the field. Here we are. We're also going to have to wash the machines. They're all a bit grubby. It's definitely on the to-do list. So yeah, just up here on the left, that's where the field bends around the corner. I've just taken it off straight and then gone round and finished that bit off manually. And try and keep it as simple as possible. I think it's a good job that we started off with so many fields which are ready to harvest because without these, on the difficulty that I'm playing on and the challenge which I've set for myself, which is of course not using any loans or anything like that, it would certainly be hard to actually establish the farm. So uh, yeah, I think without these fields, um, I wouldn't actually be able to do it at all. Another job which I can start while this is doing this is the baling, providing I don't get in the way. Third time round, and then and that should be it from me. Uh, then it can be passed on to a worker, and while we can meanwhile do another job. Uh, it's just yet we won't be able to do um, anything because we haven't sold a trailer load yet. We're going to have to sell at least one trailer load before we can do the grass and the uh, forage wagon pickup. Uh, we'll just unload now 
That way we can make it round without having to stop. And I think I probably will have to empty when I come back round again. And then we'll sell the trailer load. Right, continue where we left off. It's definitely making it easier though, with the new setting on the steering wheel. Uh, before I just had it too sensitive, I think I had it about 200 degrees from uh, full left lock to full right lock, which is just crazy. It was just way too sensitive. That's why I suddenly got these sudden movements. I think I've now set it to about 650 degrees, so it makes it a lot easier. I think the G27 can go up to about 900 degrees. I probably won't want it as far as that. I think what it's on now is perfect. It also should make it quieter in the microphone so you shouldn't hear the steering wheel when it's turning. The G27 is actually a much quieter steering wheel than a lot of them out there, especially the cheap ones, because I used to have a really cheap Logitech and it was very loud. The gearing inside it was just so loud that it was just, I don't know, just, ugh, it just was not realistic. Uh, but the G27 is fantastic. I think it's got a helical gear system or something, makes it a lot better. love that landscape behind. It looks like a ruin or something there as well. So yes, I think next time we will either be doing the grass for the sheep or we'll be doing the baling in this field. We'll just see how much money we have at the time and also uh, how desperate we are as well for money. I think I would like to do the grass because the sheep obviously need feed, which they don't have. They also need water, so that is something which needs to be on the priority list. Uh, but obviously this is going to have to be baled, but not necessarily straight away. So I think, I'm, I'm thinking we're going to do grass, but we'll just have to see how it goes. Because that is money dependent, like a lot of stuff. Anyway, this is now the fourth headland, so I'm going to go up to the trailer and then stop. In the next episode, we'll have it on a worker. And uh, for the rest of this episode, I'll go and sell the trailer load and see what we can make from it. So that should be okay about there I would have thought. So we'll stop it just here. We'll let the rest of it come out the back. Piling up. And uh, I will put the auger out and unload. Well, it's 73% full, so it's not too bad. It's obviously not a full load. But I think it's still pretty good. So we'll turn the combine off. We'll get into the New Holland. Just have to spin round here. I think we'll take it to the usual sell point. It always seems to have the best price. It's also not too far from here as well.
And there we have it. Let's see what we can make from it. We're definitely going to have to be renting though next time. Yeah, 17,000. So it's a bit of a boost, but nothing special. But yep, yeah, that is it for this episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. I know it's a bit slow, a bit of a slow process because we're on such a hard setting. But we'll get there one day. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.